Hello children. Today we are going to study English literature. Lesson 12. The Little Duckling. So let's begin. A duck makes her nest under some leaves. She sits on the eggs to keep them warm. At last the eggs break one after the other. Little ducks come out. Only one egg is left. It is a very big one. Now children, let us understand the first paragraph. One day, a duck makes her nest under some leaves and sits on the eggs to keep it warm. After some time, the eggs break and little ducks come out of the eggs. Now only one egg is left and it is a very big one. Children, let us read the second page. At last it breaks and out comes a big ugly duckling. What a big duckling, says the old duck. He does not look like us. If he does not like the water, he is not a duck. The next day, the mother duck takes her ducklings to the pond. Splash! Splash! The mother duck is in the water. Then she calls the ducklings to come in. They all jump in the in and begin to swim. The big ugly duckling swims too. The mother duck says, He is my own little duck. He will not be so ugly when he is bigger. All the animals laugh at the little duckling. The poor duckling is very sad. So he runs away. He sees a big pond. He says, I will have a good swim. But all the animals there laugh at him. He hides in the bushes. Now children, let us understand. After a few days, the big egg also breaks and a big ugly duckling comes out from the shell. On seeing the newborn big duckling, the old duck says, what a big duckling. He does not look like us. Children, since the ducks are very fond of water, so the old duck says that if the newborn duckling does not like water, it will mean that he is not a duck. So the next day, Mother Duck takes all her ducklings to the pond. Mother Duck enters the water and she calls her ducklings also to swim. The big ugly duckling also starts to swim. On seeing this, the Mother Duck says that the ugly duckling is my own little duck. And when he grows bigger, then he will not be so ugly. But all the animals made a fun of the ugly duckling and laughed at him because he was not so good looking. So the poor duckling became very sad and he runs away from there. He went 
far from his family and then suddenly he sees a pond and says now i will have a good swim in this pond as nobody knows me here but there also all the animals start laughing at him this poor duckling feels very bad and hides himself in the bushes now children let us read the summer goes by then the leaves fall and it is very cold at last it is spring the birds sing the duckling is big now one day he flies far away soon he sees three white swans in the lake he says they are so beautiful will they laugh at me he puts his head down to the water what does he see he sees himself in the water but he is not an ugly duck he is a beautiful white swan the other swans come to see him the children say oh see the lovely swans the last one is the best and they give him bread and cake the little duckling is happy now children let us understand the summer season has passed and the leaves have fallen down and now it is very cold the weather has changed and it is now the spring season the birds are enjoying the season and have started singing and the duckling has also grown big one day this duckling flies far away from there and soon he sees a beautiful lake in which three white swans were swimming who were very beautiful will they also laugh at me thinks the ugly duckling soon he puts his head down to the water but what does he see children as he sees himself in the water he becomes very happy because he is now no longer an ugly duckling now he has become a beautiful swan all the three swans who were in the lake came closer to see his beauty the children who had come near the lake to see the swans they said oh see the lovely swan the little ugly duckling which had now become beautiful duck was praised by the children for his beauty and they gave him bread and cake to eat and the little duckling was very happy so this is how the story ends i hope children you must have understood the lesson do revise it at home thank you and god bless you all